well, I guess it's about that time of the week. Let's sit down and see if I have any genuine YouTube comments that aren't just people asking me to grow their Instagram accounts for them. Can you do a video on getting over the awkwardness of vlogging on camera? Alright, so let's get into it. I'm not gonna really, I don't have anything planned out for this video. I haven't watched any other videos on how to vlog. I'm just gonna talk off the head as I go on some of my tips that I've picked up in like, I think it's been four months that I've been doing this now. This was definitely an interesting comment for me because like I said, I wouldn't consider myself an expert at vlogging in any way, shape, or form. I still find myself being awkward on the camera at times, especially if you go back and watch my first videos. Welcome to the mother vlog man. We're just gonna skip that for now. I'm gonna try my best to keep this video short and to the point. Nice and simple. I don't want you guys to have to watch a 10 minute long video just to get the basic information. So the first tip or pointer I'm gonna say is, I said this in my YouTube growth video, but you want to obviously have a passion for making these videos. If you start a YouTube channel just because you want to make money or you don't have an interest in videography or helping other people, your videos are going to be pretty bad. You're not going to be very confident on camera. The audience is going to see right through that. They're going to click through it right away. Not only will it be awkward for you, but it will be awkward for everybody else watching the video. The second tip I have for you guys is to find a style of vlog that you like. Now this isn't necessarily copying someone, it's just finding I know Casey Neistat is a great vlogger. I've referenced him before on this channel. It's no secret that my style is very similar to his just through watching it throughout the years. I've kind of mentally picked up on it. Obviously, you don't want to copy someone. You want to adopt your own style. Something I've been trying to do lately is adding in these little voiceovers, maybe do some type, some type of vlogging that I haven't really seen before. I don't know. On a side note, if you guys like the little voiceovers I've been doing in the last two videos, let me know in the comments down below. The reason you want to find a vlog that you like or you personally enjoy is because you want to see what makes this vlog good, what makes this person confident. You also want to find one that's not so good. Maybe go back, analyze one or two of your other videos that were duds. They're not totally going to be duds. You can use them to see why were they bad, what went wrong, what was awkward, was I not looking at the camera, did I not have good inflection in my voice, did I not seem confident in myself. So never delete those videos, as bad as they might be, it's always good to go back on them and see how much better you've gotten throughout the process. Step number three is not to record every single clip in the same location. Even if it's as simple as getting down on the ground, moving like 10 feet from my room to sit down with my dog. This is Knox, by the way, if you guys are new to the channel. He is a wiener dog mixed with an unknown, I don't know what he's mixed with, I adopted him last summer. I think he's looking at himself in the camera. He's like, hello. But yeah, step number three is going to be to switch up your location. Even if it's just as simple as moving 10 feet out of my room to sit down in another area of my apartment or another area of your house, as crazy as it sounds, people are gonna get bored if they're watching a video and they don't see a change in scenery. So you want a yawning little cute dog in here. Obviously, if you don't have one, go outside, go in your room, go downtown, get some fresh air. People don't wanna watch you just in the same place for 10 minutes straight. Tip number four, I've said this before in my YouTube growth video, but stick to a schedule. You wanna hold yourself accountable. My schedule is pretty simple. I just upload once a week, every single Sunday at the same exact time, which is 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. The reason why you wanna keep yourself on a schedule is because you want to keep pumping out these videos. The more videos you make, the more comfortable you're gonna get with the camera. The more you're gonna wanna look in the lens and the more you're gonna be able to get things in one take. I think the reason why my first two vlogs were so awkward is because I was doing, I think for the intro clip, I must, I'm not even kidding, I swear to God, I did at least 80 takes. I, yeah, that's right, I did at least 80 takes. It was like, oh, my voice didn't sound right there. Oh, it looks so weird. And it was just, it led it to be super uncomfortable and unorganic. So try to get everything in one to two takes. Not only is this gonna speed up the process by a lot, but it's gonna be more organic. If you trip over a word, that's fine. Don't edit it out, just keep it real. Be yourself. Step number five is something I've been doing recently. Um, is to try to incorporate some type of b-roll into your footage or your vlogs. What b-roll is going to do is, if you don't know what it is, it's essentially just cinematic footage. A lot of people call it edits. Uh, 
basically just give people something to look at other than yourself give them a break maybe talk for about two or three minutes put in some b-roll let it play out and then come back talk tie it together at the end just give people something entertaining to look at you've got to put in the extra mile to step your content up i've only been incorporating b-roll in the last few of my vlogs something i'm definitely going to try and get a lot better on if you guys would like a video on how to get b-roll again no expert no cinematographer just shoot on this digital camera but i could give some of the tips that i personally do if that's something you'd be interested in drop it in the comments down below lastly to wrap it up and keep it brief sounds super vague but step number six the most important one be confident and i know the question was like how to be confident i can't really tell you how to be confident it's just if you put together all these tips that i've uh, said mainly really just getting comfortable putting out a few videos talking to the camera getting the swing of things you're naturally going to get better with it one thing i've noticed is that i've actually gotten a lot better at public speaking and presentations for my classes since i vlogged because it just you don't care don't care what anyone thinks about you don't think oh what if this person watches this video what if this person watches this video i don't view it as talking to a camera i try as silly as this sounds to picture that i'm talking to each and every single one of my subscribers i've got like 2800 of you guys but only one to 200 watch every video. So if you're one of those, shout out to you for watching this video. If you're just someone that's coming in, I would appreciate it if you like the style of this video. I don't generally do how-to tutorials. I do them like once a month, but I just do mainly a lifestyle vlog. Hit that subscribe button if that's something you'd be interested in. That's my self-plug for this video. And that's gonna wrap it up, guys. I don't know how long this is gonna end up being. I don't see it being any longer than like four to six minutes. I didn't wanna make it too long just cause it's unappealing if you see a video that's a how-to and it's over five minutes long. I just wanted to get the basics out there to you guys. I don't know if that answers your question to the original commenter, but that is the best advice that I have for you on how to not only be confident with vlogging, but how to vlog. Stay tuned for the next one, guys.